What's going on guys, it's Cadence here. Serato dropped a big update and we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. Before we get started today, I wanna tell you about a new startup company by CEO Daryl Freider. It is called The Club. Are you sick and tired of your DJ streams getting cut off mid-set? Check out The Club, there's gonna be no cutoffs at all. This is an app on your Apple or Android device. It's free to sign up, free to start streaming. Best yet, want to check out the website at intheclub.app for app and that's going to lead you to the website where you can sign up to not only be on the My DJ Story podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, and wherever you can find podcasts to get your story heard around the globe, but you can also sign up for free text messages that will let you know when the club has a paid, virtual, or in-person gig that you might be interested in taking. Sound good? Download the club app for free on Apple or Android device today. So Serato came up with a huge update a few days ago, Serato DJ Pro 2.5 and Serato Lite 1.5. What better way to check out what they have to say about the software than from Serato themselves. We're gonna watch the video, I'm gonna react as we go along, probably say a few things as they do and uh, let's check it out. Got the video pulled up here, I'm gonna just hit play and then pause and talk about it as it goes along. Let's get started. What up everybody? This is OP at the Serato Studio in Brooklyn and today's an exciting day. Today is the release of Serato DJ Pro 2.5 and also Serato DJ Lite 1.5. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. There's now official support for Mac OS 11 Big Sur for Serato DJ Lite and Serato DJ Pro. As well, there's support for the new Apple laptops with the M1 chip, but please note that some DJ hardware does not work yet with Big Sur or the M1 chip, so please check the link in the description for the status of your hardware. DJs, this is so important, and probably the big part of this update is that Serato now supports Big Sur and the new M1 chip. Um, every time Apple releases a new operating system, and if you're part of any DJ groups on Facebook, there's DJs, sure enough, I could bet my life savings on it that there's gonna be DJs on there that are like, oh, I upgraded to the new OS and now my software does not work. Do not update your software until your software <laughs> is compatible with your operating system. Big Sur is now supported by Serato DJ Pro and Lite, awesome awesome stuff and so is the m1 chip which i hear is really good i've got to get my hands on a new mac i'm looking at the mac minis that's going to be in my future for sure and um it's it's now supported good stuff good stuff as well serato will have a beta build soon for the m1 machines that supports live streaming so hold tight this one is super exciting there's now direct phase support for serato dj pro Phase is now supported as a Serato official accessory. This means no more RCA cables. The only thing you need is a USB cable connected directly from the phase receiver to your computer. This improves the accuracy along with reducing latency and drift. In Serato DJ Pro, there's a new mode called WIR, which stands for wireless. When selected, you can use phase wirelessly to control your decks. There are also some additions added with this new integration, which include the following. Remote battery level directly inside of Serato DJ Pro. So now you can see the actual battery life inside your DeX. Damn, that is pretty cool. I mean, at first phase was just kind of like a position indicator where the track was, um, where where the platter was. That That is really, really cool. Um, it's basically a part of the software now. It's just like, I mean, it's hardware with software built in. That into it's just like fully integrated into Serato. Cool, cool stuff. An emergency internal switch, which will automatically switch to DEX from wireless or WIR to internal or INT when the battery gets to 
and also custom design LED animations, which has the remote lights blink when the track is loaded and also starts flashing when the track is at 20 seconds from the ending when you have the track and warning turned on and the preferences. That makes it kind of like a CDJ or a lot of controllers when you load up a track it like flashes or it has the animation like a CD is being inserted into the slot and then as the track is about to end um, the jog wheel will start blinking at you letting you know hey your track's about to end. Now the phase does that obviously turntables don't have like blinking flat flashing lights. Um, Pretty cool stuff. Make sure you update your firmware or your phase device to start using the Serato and phase integration. Check the link in the description for the firmware update. I'm super excited about this next one. There's now offline lockering support for Beat Source Link and also Beatport Link inside of Serato DJ Lite and Serato DJ Pro. With this new feature, you can store up to 100 tracks on your computer to access and play them without being connected to the internet. A Link Pro or Pro Plus plan is required. All of your metadata saves to these tracks, so if you make cue points and loops, they'll appear every time you play those tracks. I've got to check out BeatSource. I keep hearing about it. Um, people say it's really well. The only thing is I don't stream my music. I know with like the subscriptions you can have 100 tracks offline like he's saying, but I, I just don't stream my music yet. I'm not comfortable. I don't have the trust in the internet connection. I, I know, I know. He just said no internet connection, but Am I going to pay a subscription monthly for something that I'm not really going to use for 100 I'll stick to DJ Record Pools and keep my subscriptions there. They they have the editors and remixers I already like, and um, I know those tracks are going to play when I need them to, offline or not. Down, 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 down. For example, with BeatSource Link, I can search for a song using the search feature and then drag that song to the beat source locker. A download arrow will be next to the song in the locker so now I can play that song stored on my computer and not be connected to the internet. Please note, these songs are locked so they can only be played in Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite. The beat source link and beat port link lockers are independent as you need to have that's kind of a little misleading there. Don't assume that Serato DJ is the only one that you can have the offline beat source locker in. Um, what he means is that you can't put them into the locker, think they're offline, and then go take those tracks and put them on an external hard drive or somewhere else where you're gonna have them forever. No, you have to have a um, subscription and then only use that music from a DJ software, not necessarily just Serato, that supports BeatSource offline. Separate subscriptions for each, and you cannot mix or match songs from both lockers. As well, you cannot record DJ sets with the tracks from the locker. That's a licensing issue. You can't record your DJ sets with music that you haven't bought the license. Um, to use and uh, obviously there's royalties and stuff that need to be paid by BeatSource to the artists and labels and stuff. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of legal jargon um, and stuff I only barely understand. But you can't record your DJ sets with BeatSource tracks. That's all. There's now a new expansion button inside of Serato DJ Pro. When you click on it, you can explore and manage your Serato DJ Pro license your expansion pack licenses, and your subscriptions. If you're not familiar with an expansion pack, you can get a brief and clear description on what it is. The window also allows you to manage your Serato Studio subscription if you're making beats or DJ edits. Serato uh, expansion packs are a one, they're, they're, some of them are really good. Another is it's a way for Serato to make more money off of you, but the menu looks so much better than the older versions of Serato. I like that oh, the menu's on the left there and uh, looks nice and clean. It looks much better. Looks like there's a button down there that says your expansions to uh, see what you have, but well, uh, it looks good. I like it. Also, next to the setup button is a new menu which will allow you to manage your profile through your products 
enter a license code, and log in and log out of your account. This makes the process of managing your account with computers and licenses much easier. If you're a Serato DJ Lite user, you can easily connect your master audio output to your broadcasting software like OBS for live streaming. Inside of Serato DJ Lite, under the Make Audio Available to Other Applications, make sure to install the I Show You Audio Capture software first. Damn. Once installed, you can turn on Make Audio Available to Other Applications, and in OBS under your Audio Input Capture device in your sources, you can choose the I Show You Audio Capture. Damn. This will now send the master output from Serato DJ Lite directly to OBS. From OBS, you can stream to platforms like Twitch, YouTube, Zoom, and others. Does Recordbox have that? Let me know in the comments section below because right now I'm streaming. I am a Recordbox DJ DJ and I have like cords running from my my stream setup. I'm usually facing that way streaming. I have the camera on a tripod right over there facing this way. So I have cords that run all the way back to my desk over here into my audio interface. And then I have a USB cable from the back of my audio interface that runs all the way back over there where I set up my laptop stand just to get my audio from there to there. It's annoying because I'm not moving my audio interface like my studios the way I like it. It's not moving every time I got a stream and I'm not buying another one, especially if I can do something like that. I, I hope I hope Recordbox has that. It's going to change a lot of things. I bought long cables just to be able to stream. It's annoying. <laughs> At least I didn't buy a whole. I had an audio interface. I know a lot of DJs. Um, watch, a lot of DJs bought an audio interface this last year during 2020 when like Twitch was all the craze all of a sudden. And um, and then Serato comes out with this. That's, that's funny. I mean, it's not for the ones who bought it, but sorry. And last but not least, Reloop has a cool new controller out right now called the Reloop Ready. It's pretty dope. It's built with portability and ease of performance in mind. It sits flush in a 13 inch laptop keyboard so you can practice or perform anywhere. Hold on. Why they have it on? Is it to show how small it is? That's not how you're supposed to use it, right? If you think you're, I'm putting a DJ controller on top of the keyboard of my like $2,000 plus MacBook, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. There's no way I'm doing that. One, I mean, I can't say if the if thing's any good or not, but just the fact that they have it placed on top of the MacBook. I mean, how small do you really need to get? Uh, I I don't I don't understand that. Maybe maybe they're ju DJs don't do that just because they showed you that. Don't put your your little controller on top of your laptop. Plus, aren't you gonna be hitting a bunch of buttons? I've I figured every time you like hit a cue point or something, you're gonna be pressing a bunch of buttons and your samplers are gonna be going off and your space bar is gonna go from like different views to uh it's it's gonna be a mess. Don't do that. They're great features on the controller, including 16 RGB performance pads and touch-sensitive platters, which are great for scratching. The Reloop Ready works with Serato DJ Lite, but if you have a license for Serato DJ Pro, it'll work with that too. When using Pro, you can access the new pad mode feature, Scratch Banks, for instant loading of tracks for scratching and performance routines. Yo, we just covered a lot right there. Make sure you head over to serato.com right now and download and install Serato DJ Lite 1.5 and Serato DJ Pro 2.5. Peace. Last thing I got to say about the video is maybe I need to go back to something like that and then hit, like when I do DJ tutorials, I'll get a yardstick and just point to the DJ software behind me, get a green screen and put that behind me, just point like I'm a teacher or something. That's funny. But uh, who knows? Maybe I might do that in a future video. Um, important thing is that this was a huge Serato update. Great 
great update. Um, probably one of the bigger ones since 2.0, definitely. Um, maybe since... I mean, the interface ones always seem like a big update, um, but the uh, like the the visual interface is always seems like a big update. But other than that, it's probably the biggest update since Serato Itch went to uh, Serato DJ. Well, that wraps up the Serato video and Serato DJ's new update. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be using some of these new features? Um, what do you think of them? Uh, it's pretty. Pretty big update, probably one of the biggest ones, definitely since 2.0, but that was a lot of like user interface, how Serato looked on the screen. Um, but it might have been the biggest update since Serato Itch changed to Serato DJ a long time ago. So pretty cool stuff. Um, in the meantime, let me know also if you like this type of video. I figured I would just hit some DJ news type stuff and then react toward it. Um, give my two cents and comments or whatever. And if you like that, let me know. Um, of course, you're always welcome to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a ton more videos. Hit that bell icon if you liked it. And um, be sure to hit me up on my Instagram. That's the best way to reach me, at Cadence Music. You can always just shoot into my DMs and get in touch with me there. It's a great spot. I'm always on Instagram. That's my platform of choice. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.